Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSCX ended in the red zone today, losing 11.38 points or 0.18 percent and settled at 6,204 points. Market turnover was BDT 3.18 billion, which is an increase of 10.67 percent compared to the previous trading day. Premier Bank, One Bank and Prime Bank from the banking sector, Beacon Pharmaceuticals and Orient Pharma from the pharmaceutical sector, Berger Paints, Stern Housing and Summit Alliance Port from the industrial sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, almost all the sectors posted a loss today, in which the IT sector posted the highest loss of 0.64%, while the tannery sector registered the second highest loss of 0.46%. Today. Five insurance companies were among the top 20 losers today. Legacy Footwear, Unique Hotel and Resorts and Intech registered the highest gain, while Shonali Paper, Islamic Commercial Insurance and Migna Pet were the top losers. Investors might have shown interest in Intech as they have scheduled their meeting of the Board of Directors on 29th March 2023. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of AB Bank First Mutual, Legacy Footwear and Shomuta Leather increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news. According to the National Board of Revenue NBA, the government's revenue collection fell short by 10.49% of the target for the first eight months of the current fiscal year, owing to the less customs revenue collection. Due to the LC opening restrictions, imports declined in the last few months, which resulted in less revenue earnings by the government. However, the revenue collection increased by 8.92% in the same period compared to the previous year. A number of banks are providing BDT 114 per dollar to the remittances, which is much higher than the government's fixed rate. To collect foreign currency in this crisis moment, the banks are unofficially paying this extra amount of money. As a result, remittance inflow soared by 4.47% year-over-year in February. In addition, the remittances are getting benefited through it. Moreover, they are getting a 2.5% cash incentive from the government. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.